allow me to introduce myself. I am Chaplain Bishop Duke Robert L. Maxwell of the Prophetic Road Coat of Arms Ministry, Pomeria and Livonia, Archduke of the Prophetic Road of Coat of Arms Ministry, Colonel of the Royal Guard of Pomeranian and Livonia, Field Marshal of the Prophetic Road of Coat of Arms Ministry, and Knight of the Sacred and Military Order of Merits of the Prophetic Road of Coat of Arms Ministry. Today, I got a interesting study for you. Dear Father God, we come before you and uh, we ask you to fill us up with the Holy Ghost because we are leaking vessels and we are, we are empty. Pray you would grant us wisdom concerning the subject that we are going to be looking at. Make my preaching and teaching acceptable to you in Christ Jesus' name. We pray to the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. So, we're going to be taking a look at Psalm 9. Psalm 9. So, without further ado, let us get into Psalm 9, and today I will we'll be using the authorized King James. Psalm 9, verse 1, and it reads, David, the author of Psalms, of this particular Psalm, I will praise thee, O Lord, with thy whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. Now, the book of Psalms is a very interesting compile. Of great stuff in it. If you dig deep enough. Psalm 9 and 10 are linked together by an irregular acrostic beginning at Psalm 9 verse 1 and ending with Psalm chapter 10 verse 18. Seven letters are omitted. The acrostic is is an irregular chorus, irregular corresponding with the times of trouble. shows how one subject, subject pervades them. We have uh, from the Hebrew translated in English an H. The lawless one, Psalm 95 and 16 and 10, Psalm 10 verses 2, 4, 13 and 15. Times of trouble, Psalm 9, 9 and Psalm 10, 1, the oppressed.
crushed. Psalm 9, 9. And Psalm 10, 18, of course, uh, go together. There's only here and Psalm 74, 21. Mortal men. Psalm 9, verse 19, 20, and Psalm 10, verse 18, and forget. Psalm 9, 12, 17, and 18. Psalm 10, verses 11 and 12. Humble. Psalm 9, 12, 18, and Psalm 10, verses 12, 17. Not always. Psalm 9, 18, and never. Psalm 10, 11. Forever and ever. Psalm 9, 5, and 10, 16. Arise, Yahweh. Psalm 19 and 10, 12. The Psalms, the structure of the book as a whole. Psalm 100 through 150, the five books. Psalm 1 through 41. Chapter 41, the Genesis books concerning man, the counsel of God concerning himself, all blessed blessings are bound up in obedience. Chapter 1, 1 with Psalm 128, or uh, uh, Psalm chapter 1, verse 1 with Genesis 1 28 obedience is man's tree of life chapter 1 of Psalm and verse 3 with Genesis 2 16 disobedience brought ruin Psalm 2 with Genesis 3 the ruin with Genesis 3.15, the book concludes with benedictions and double amen. So, Psalm chapter 9 through chapter 15, the man of the earth. The man of the man of the earth, the man of the earth, the Antichrist, his days, character, and in the times of trouble. Psalm nine, verse nine. Psalm ten, verse one. The great tribulation. The, the two psalms linked together by an acrostic alphabet broken like those times. Prayer in view of Psalm 9 and 10, those times of trouble, the vanity of man. Prayer in view of 
9 and uh, Psalm 9 and 10, those times of trouble. The probity of man, the perfect man, his character eternal abiding leading up to Sandra.